Hi guys, it's me. Um, I've been trying to make this video for a while and I accidentally deleted it the time I was in my Pizza Hut uniform. And I just wanted to show you guys my updated collection of industrial barbells. So yay! So excited. So I'll just show you guys all the ones that I have. Oh, I need more. I don't really have that many. <laughs> okay, so my first one is the one I was pierced with. Which is the standard surgical steel barbell. And I need one and one one and one half inch for my ear. That's how long it's gotta be, which is the standard. Or if you want to do it in millimeters, it's 1.5. Um I got yeah, that at the piercing place. And the next thing I got were these two. Right here. Got these at Hot Topic for $16.99. And it came with, this is a blue iodized titanium covering. It's like a light oceany blue. And then a wavy one. I haven't put this one in yet, actually. I haven't really put many of the wavy ones in. One of my subscribers and friends has asked me to do a video on how to put the curly ones and stuff in. And I promise I will once the swelling goes down. I still have a little bit of swelling. And I'm just kind of afraid to do it right now. So I'll do it later, I promise. It's not going to be bad. I'll change it, I promise. Um, so my next one is uh, my collection. I got it Spencer's Gifts in Huntsville. And I got this, which is the same light blue with a darker blue. And this one, which is a lime green and pink striped. I love this one. See, here they are together. They're very pretty. Um, it came with these two and it came with one more and I'm gonna tell you this is really stupid. Zero, I mean, uh, Spencer's tries to play you or whatever. It came with this one. Now this looks like, you know, a standard long barbell. Look, it doesn't even go all the way up. I measured it. It's a one inch. And I was like, oh, this is a tongue ring. So I'm like, playing around with it and all. It's way too big. It's, one inch is not right. It's got to be, um, I think five eighths is when you're swelling and three fourths is when you're well. Tongue ring. So this is not tongue ring. I asked the guy at the counter when I was buying these for $24.99 because they're expensive why it came with one of these and he said I don't know it's just how they market it I guess if you had like one up top you could do like a two two of them or something or like an earlobe or like if you want to do like a really long libre I don't, I don't know or like a septum ring I don't, I don't know but yeah the only reason I bought them for $24.99 which is really expensive is because I haven't found one with stripes before so, I had to get it because it has stripes. And money well spent, I think. Alright. So, these two I got at painfulpleasures.com. This is considered a lifeline or a heartbeat, as you can see from the doot doot, whatever thing. Only problem, I can't get this one in. I've tried. My piercer's tried. You see the space between this and the ball? It's really tiny, and I'm Maybe I can get it in now, but it's going to be kind of hard. See, I'm going to have to like pull my ear up and put it in or whatever. So, kind of worried about doing that. But it should be quite okay. Once my ear goes. And this is the one my YouTube friend asked me to put in and show everybody. And I will when I heal some more. And um, this next one is, of course, this little humpy one. And it's got these little Rasta colored balls on it. The green one actually turns from green to yellow. See that? Green to yellow. And uh, they slide up and down. The thing about these are you can't pick the colors. They pick them for you. So you just order it and hope for the best. The hope that you get a good color. So, yeah. Um, this next one I got at Zero Gravity. Here in my hometown. I don't know if it's a... Um, a big store, a big chain, but I don't think it is. 
this was ten dollars for this one little corkscrew and it's kind of high very high for something for one piece of jewelry so I'm not gonna do that again I'm just gonna shop Pierce Fist Painful Pleasures not doing anything locally it's really expensive and Claire's does not sell industrial barbells they sell tongue rings and that's it and Lebre studs and yada yada all the other basic stuff they don't sell these really long things especially not ones with designs anyways um, as you can see how much bigger the ball is. The ball is a 6 millimeter. This is a 5 millimeter ball. So they're really big ball. <laughs> I guess that's cool. I don't know. I don't really care. I have more preference. But yeah, I just thought that was an interesting tidbit. And my last industrial barbell is my PTFE one. The one I use for work all the time. The one you see me shoving through my ear if you look at my other videos over here and everything. Um, really cool material is fantastic I mean it's very flexible if this was long enough I could tie it in like a freaking knot and of course it's self threaded which means you can make threading see they just cut it well you can buy like you can buy five feet of it and you can cut it I think it's five inches sorry not five feet five inches <laughs> You can cut five inches of it, and you can make your own jewelry for like your tongue and yada stuff like that. And um, I also bought these acrylic balls to go on this because it originally came with metal, and when you're trying to hide something, you don't really want metal because you don't want that shininess to show through. So that's all for my industrial barbell collection. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions private questions, send me a message or whatever and I'll try to answer them. I've had a lot of questions that people ask me, especially about the belly rings more than anything else. Um, I'm going to try to do a video on lip piercing aftercare and stuff like that because my boyfriend did have his lip pierced but he had to take it out because of karate and yeah I need to do different piercings and I hope you guys don't hate me because I don't have them so but I'm trying to find people who do so, so I can make a video about it because I'm knowledgeable about the aftercare because I've read a lot of stuff about it but I guess people won't really believe me if I don't have the piercing myself so I'll try to make videos and um, maybe I should do um, some video questions that might be a good thing to do because I'm getting really bored of these videos I need to make some new ones so maybe um, if you guys would send me like a really good question about body piercings I can answer it for you in a video. Alright, so thank you guys for watching.